Runners on. Wind up. Pitch. Block. One of the biggest remarks that we get every year is from parents of, of some of the younger kids, some of the nine and ten year olds that come to camp. Um, and and we had an eight year old come during during the July camp who was from California, and and came came from came to camp and and wasn't too thrilled about the catching position, had it spent a ton of time back there, and gave up a ton of runs because of past balls. And as as a lot of youth coaches. You know, and, and high school coaches are, are probably very aware of that play alone scores more runs than any other. And the ability of a catcher to be able to stop a baseball in the dirt and prevent a runner from advancing a bag or scoring to home is, is a huge asset to a team. So you know, when you come to camp unable to figure out the, the, the progression of the block of, of where everything needs to go um, in order to complete the mechanics, of it, you know, we go through everything. So each kid is, you know, leaves here with with a very, very good idea of how to complete a perfect block. Now, obviously, you know, the the block itself is is the easy part. You know, recognizing whether or not the pitch goes in the dirt or not, and re recognizing whether or not they need to receive the pitch is, is obviously the hardest part with the skill. And that's something that that they're they they're going to need to learn over time. And that, um, but they're leaving this camp with with the the skill of blocking down they're, they 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 know the progression they know the hands fire first the legs you know the feet excuse me the knees replace the feet you know body goes over top shoulder in front of the knees you need to be there before the ball so that the ball stays close to you they all know how to do that by the time they leave camp and that makes the the transition to to in a practice or in a game that much easier because as long as you can understand the skill, all, all you need to do is adjust to having a ball being thrown at you and being okay with getting yourself in front of it. And, and for a lot of kids, this is their first experience with that. A lot of them come, in, come into camp expecting to field balls behind, behind home plate, and that just results in far too many pass balls. And, and they leave camp with, with some level of confidence of knowing that they have the ability to get down to the ground in such a way that's going to allow them to keep more balls in front of home plate which will allow them to enjoy the position much more because they're not shouldering a load of runs because a bunch of balls got by them. Six. Now, stay down. Right, you're out here a little bit. We want to be here. As soon as we get the glove out here, now we have a ramp for the ball. Right, we keep that ball in there. If the ball drops off your chest protector, it hits dirt instead of the heel of the glove where it can roll away from you. Now it's just going to hit the ground and stay put. All right? Don't move, don't move, stay there. Come up and over. Okay? A little bit too scroll a little bit too you got your whole body way a little bit too lower. I want to cover as much ground out front till you get to put your hand out when you're gonna fall. Alright, that's too far, right? So now we know where too far is. We need to be back just inside that so that now when this ball hits, it's like you just put a roof over top of the ball. We don't want to let ourselves start to drift back there. Because now, now we, we, the, your protector gets too straight. Again, hits here, has a chance to bounce long. All right? <laughs>